Hello and welcome. So today we are going to discuss a very beautiful law about freely falling objects. Now this law was given by Galileo Galilei. Previously, Aristotle, who was a Greek philosopher, declared that a heavy object would fall faster towards the earth. However, it took centuries to challenge him. So was the prestige of Aristotle. Then came Galileo Galilei, who notoriously threw so many objects from the Tower of Pisa that he got clear understanding of really falling objects. And his conclusion was all the objects achieve exactly the same velocity respective of their masses, and they take exactly the same time given that air resistance is negligible. The same idea that motivated Newton to extend it to the moon. So even the moon is a pretty falling object. Now, let's get to this important law. It says that the distance traversed during equal interval of time by a body falling from rest stand to one another in same ratio as the odd numbers in the so you can see that if you drop a ball, then you can equal time interval. Suppose t is the time interval and d is the distance traversed in the first free fall for t time. And then subsequently, the body will fall approximately by d. The time interval is exactly the same. And if you continue for the next time interval, this will turn out to be by d. The time interval is going to now. Let us prove this one. It's a very shocking idea, but it leads to a very beautiful odd number series. So the time for the first interval is t, therefore, you can clearly write t is equal to half t squared. Now, this is from simple kinematics. Similarly, for the next interval of time, let's say the distance is d. Can write so let's take care of d half g times the time of g that is d minus the distance traversed during the first interval right so we can know the distance traversed during the second let's move on to the distance traversed during the third interval. half g total time is 3p square now we have to subtract minus half g p square right if you write further, you can write d4 is the distance traversed in the fourth time. For example, I get half g over d squared minus half g 3 d squared. All right. Now, if you take the first distance d, during the second exactly same time interval t, it will turn out to be 4 minus 1. It will turn out to be 9 minus 4 by d. And take on the fourth interval, it will be seven and it will turn to be five. So thanks a lot for your attention. You can clearly see beautiful series is obtained.